so I'm sorry for the um, aesthetic overload, but yeah, basically, um, I'm gonna bring you back to Marketing 101. Um, so what I learned a lot this summer is to really emphasize um, what part of the buying cycle a customer is in. Um, there's four steps in the buying cycle, um, and um, I thought of it as uh, like a funnel, like you wanna drive customers down the funnel. So basically the first step is awareness where the customer identifies a problem or need. The second is education where they perform research and um, things like price and they figure out what features to look into. Um, third is validation where they establish buying criteria and then fourth is the sales um, decision to purchase. So I like to think of um, the iPad as doing all the work for driving um, the customers down the funnel. So um, in terms of like where they are in the sales pro in the buying process, I think it's important for videos, demos, webinars, ebooks, guides, checklists, white papers, um, everything that um, shows off Mazda should be on the iPad and should be available. Um, I think it's better if it's on the iPad and to let the iPad do the talking um, so as uh, not to create any ne negative opinion of the salesperson. So uh, if, the, if there's like, I'm gonna jump slides a little bit, but at the end, I created a little iPad. If there's like, did you know signs and like little like pop-ups and things like that, it's not great. They're not gonna blame the salesman, they're gonna blame like whoever created the iPad. So, um, so the, like, the low pressure selling will still be maintained. Um, so playing around with uh, all my research, I went to mozzieusa.com uh, and they actually had like a little feature where you can figure out how much you wanna pay, how much is in your budget, your seating capacity, fuel economy, and um, horsepower. And I figured out I can only afford this one. But um, like, I think, I think that would be really cool if you had it on the iPad as well. Um, and um, for the automobile selling process, like, um, as a lot of people mentioned, there would be two sides. There would be the, con the customer app and then there would be the dealer app. And the dealer app would basically have the sales process written out and you, you could fill out um, like everything accordingly. So in the needs discovery stage, you'd be filling out a checklist based on um, all the customer's needs. Um, to jump back to this slide, um, I discovered that 3% of people that have tablets um, only 3% only use them for business. So um, it's more of a secondary device, it's not the primary device, so that says a lot because there's not an actual keyboard, um, it's impractical for um, contract creation and document creation, things like that. But the pros to using an iPad are that it's good for web browsing, media clips, and online shopping. So um, what better way to just give a tablet and like have all the features that it's really good for. And um, um, so it's like really portable. And I think um, based on my research, the usage of tablets in the auto industry, um, it's replacing GPSs, car stereos, owner's manuals, um, it's like also a checkboard for um, car inspections and um, my recommendation is that it's not just for downstream and showing um, the customers everything, it's also like going upstream and like working with uh, the suppliers and um, um, the manufacturers for parts and things like that. So I think it would also uh, really help in terms of um, communication uh, for like CRM purposes and lead nurturing and things like that. Thank you. So, Viva, a couple times during the presentation, you said um, you gave us this negative connotation about salespeople, right? You know, blame the app, not the salesperson. Well, I I just think that like dealers have a bad rep, and um, if we can blame it more on the on the iPad and yeah. just like um, let the iPad do most of the talking, it would it would just be better, you know. Did you find any? Was that based on any article, or just sort of your opinion about what the um, I think opinion, I okay. guess. I'm working from opinion. Okay. Any more questions?